In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. So as you can see, I have, I would say medium brown hair at the top, and then the bottom is this color, and I hate this color more than anything. It's because I don't tone my hair, so it went from like a nice blonde to like a goldy orange, not orange, but like a golden yellow, you know what I mean? And I hate that more than anything, as if you could see that. So I got these. These are the Knight & Wilson Color Freedom Cream Bleach. And it says it lightens up to 8 levels of lift. Don't know what that means, but I'm really going all in. I've never had anything but dark hair all my whole entire life. This is the lightest I've ever gone, and it's just a balayage, so it doesn't really... First of all, wow, such a long hair. And if you have hair, up to here, I don't know, I haven't seen it, but I think it's this long. Don't mess with your hair. Be gentle with your hair. Because the last part, the underneath part, it's like five years old. I will explain. Your hair, if it's growing fast, uh, maybe it's, it's growing like 15 centimeters, I don't know inches, but 15 centimeters in one year. If it's growing slow, it's like 10 centimeters in one year. So. Let's imagine that it grows this kind of piece in one year. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I said five, four or five years. This part is four or five years old. That means four summers, four winters. I don't know how many washes, I don't know how many brushes that goes through your hair in that amount of time. So it's really delicate hair here. Not many people can grow their hair that long. It's like so if you have fine hair and it grows on the shoulder, it breaks off. So she's very lucky to have this kind of long hair. So don't mess with... Uh, she, call, she bleached it four times and it's so long. And she doesn't like this color. It's, it was very gently bleached. It was balayage and it's gold. Yes, of course, it's gold. So what do you want? White hair? Count. I got two just in case because my hair is down to my bum. Oh. Okay, it comes in a little mixing tray. Don't know if I'm going to use that. I, I thought they didn't come with gloves. Okay. So there's this right here. There's this. This is the developer and this is the lightning cream. I like the bleach, basically. Comes with a little brush. Literally, that is the teeniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not going to use that. And gloves. Oh, here's the bleach. So this says it's like extra large or something. Yeah, extra large for all hair lengths. So I'm hoping I'll only need one, but I got another just in case, because imagine doing half your hair, like not having enough, and then going to Target with half your hair bleached. So, hello. Okay, let me read some directions. Because I know every box dye is different. Cool. All right. Step one, sectioning. Not gonna do that. Step two, mixing. Squeeze fifth. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. First she's saying, I'm going to read the directions. Step one, make sections. That's a very important one. I made a video how to bleach your hair at home. That's a very important one. Make sections. She says, I'm going to read the directions. Step one, make sections. I'm not going to do that. Why are you reading the direction if you're saying I'm not going to do that? That's so important. And she's wondering if she's going to use one box. It's this long. It's not possible with one box. I'm very happy it's cream bleach. Because if you're doing bleach on your scalp, Cream bleach is the most soft one for your scalp. Section. I cannot say it enough. Section. I feel like there's no doubt. This is for extra large, they said, okay? This thing is tiny. There is nothing in here. Who are these gloves made for? Let me know. Alright, we're going in. I'm just going to get the rest off this brush because we know I'm not going to use this. I don't even know what this is. Like, what is that? 
What are you doing? Alright, there's no going back now. There's no going back now. It's like it's bleaching in one second. Section you probably it. can't see anything I'm doing. Like, who has time for that? A hairdresser has time for that. There is no product in the middle. Oops. <laughs> I should have done the whole video like that. I'm literally a killer YouTuber. Gonna mix it again. Thumbnail. Oh my god, what a mess. What a mess. I think that's fine. No, it's not fine. I think we're I think we're good. No, you're not good. Hi guys, I'm back. So I just left this in for 40 minutes and now I'm going to go wash it out and then I'm gonna put in this little conditioner treatment. I have two of them, so I think I'll be fine. It is a little bit patchy dark in some places, but maybe it'll look more natural. I don't know. But we'll see. I'm gonna go wash it out and then I'll be right back. So I'm back. This is what my hair looks like. So, half of it is brown, half of it's <laughs> like. <laughs> what did so you expect? I'm gonna have to go back to Prague right now. My eyebrows half off. Um, I just showered with my lashes on, so. That was really fun, so I'm gonna go back to Target right now. I mean, the ends are fine. It's just the center. I'm gonna go to Target, get some more, and I'll be back again. I'm, I'm if you don't take sections, this is what it's happening. You have to check out my video. If you take thick sections, in the middle, there is no product. It's not possible. And if you do it just like this, what? Have you ever gone to the hairdresser's salon, colored your hair or bleached your hair, and they apply it like this? And then a little bit rubbing it again? No. Taking sections. Fine sections. Fine sections. Fine sections! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was not necessary. I'm sorry. For all you people with earpieces in, I'm sorry. I'm either going to do it tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure, but regardless to you guys, it'll be one second. So, be back in one second. Okay, so hi, I'm back. For you, that was one second. For me, that was like a half hour. I went, I went back to CVS, and I went to Target before, but that doesn't matter. But I went back and I got something different just because they didn't have what I had at the other, at Target, and what I got at Target, I got the last two. So it's not like I, you know what I mean? So, I got this L'Oreal, it's either Aria or Feria, Feria, I don't know, Absolute Platinum, this is Extreme Platinum, and obviously I'm literally golden yellow, I hate this color so much, I feel like a girl m, &M. I mean it's blonde, but it's like that like orangey gold blonde. My hair is literally down to my butt, I had to wait for this to dry, just blow dry. If you want to bleach your hair, do it with cream, as she did before or with powder, but never bleach your hair with box dye. It doesn't work, it's not that strong. And if you use a box dye, it will always be yellow, or you have to be very light blonde from nature. Okay, here's just a quick update. I did another whole round of bleach, two boxes, and this is what it looks like so far. It looks really light, it's not that light on video but here it is it's probably been in for 25 oh my god I forgot that okay cool so I'm gonna go wash it out probably in 10-15 minutes and then I guess I will then I will shower oh I was zoomed in so much I was so confused um I'm gonna go shower in about 15 minutes and then I will update you guys I'll probably blow dry it strain it do something with it and then show you. If you're coloring your hair or 
more, more bleaching your hair, there has to be so much product on your hair that you don't see your hair anymore. This is like there is no product at all. If there's less product on your hair, the bleach will not work as fast. I'm sorry, it was not bleach, it was box dye. <laughs> So I just wanted to make a little vlog update, I guess. I'm in the car right now. I am going to the salon. I mean, <laughs> I did not do bad. Here's an update. So it's not bad. It's just yellow. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't get it. It's not terrible. I just couldn't get it to the color I wanted. So <sighs> I'm going to go to the salon. I'm on my way right now. Not literally because I'm not even driving. But um, yeah, I have an appointment at 11. It's like 10.50, so it's cool. Um, and I will update you guys. At the end, and we can see the final result. I'm just hoping it won't be as expensive, just because I did get myself pretty light. Like, honestly, I did good. I used four box dyes, but, like, <laughs> my hair, like I said, is healthy enough that I could have done that. Like, if I had damaged, brittle hair, I could have never done that. So that's why I was, like, okay with it, which I know you're probably cringing if you're a hairdresser or just anybody. But I'm going to the hair salon now, and I will see you guys when I get back. All right. Hi guys, so it's been a second for you, but it has been a long day for me. I just got home, probably a half hour ago, an hour ago. Yeah, about 6.30. Got some Chipotle with some queso because I damn well deserved it. I sat in that chair. How many hours? For seven hours. 11 o'clock to 6.30. First of all, let me show you my hair. Um, I'm obsessed. It looks beautiful. Her name is, um, her, oh my god, what was her name? Melissa, her name is Melissa. <laughs> amazing, 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 amazing. We, she was so sweet, it was my first time going to that salon. Um, so here it is. And I have a lot of hair. So long. Let me back up for you. Oh my god. Is that a good representation? Yeah, it is. Um, they didn't trim or anything. This is literally the final result. It looks beautiful. Seven hours. Was it was a whopping five hundred and sixty-eight dollars. And guys, let me tell you something. That was fifteen percent off that total. So, you know, I'm not really good at math, but let's, uh... 500. 568 times 0.15 is 85. 85 plus 568 is 653. It would have been almost $700 for this. And I get it. It took a long time. I was just a little shocked at the price, but beauty is expensive. So, this is my hair. It's... Absolutely fine. She didn't cut or anything. My hair is, like I said, really healthy. I'm very grateful for that. I don't put a lot of heat on it because it's curly. Um, but, yeah. So, this is how it came out. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't dye your hair with box dye. Go to a salon. Don't do what I did. Um, <laughs> but, regardless, it came out absolutely beautiful and I'm very happy with it. So, it is. on that note... Comment down, down below what you want my next video to see, possibly. possibly. If you like this video, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. And that's it. I hope you guys like the new look. If you don't, please don't tell me because I'm really sensitive. So, I'm gonna go eat my uh, chips and queso. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Wow, it turned out really good. There was some yellow parts in the middle, uh, but it was so yellow to begin with. And she was in the salon for seven hours. That was something I explained in the video. If you mess up, you will end up in a salon for many hours and you will pay a lot of money. But I have to say, nearly $600, it's really expensive. Oh my God. Sometimes in the comments I read that it's very expensive in America uh, to, go to, to go to the hair salon and there are people that cannot afford to go to the hair salon. I changed my view about that because I was always thinking in Belgium or in Europe you can go to a good hair salon 
that works alone with not so expensive products and you can have a good haircut or a good bleach or color session. Put it in the comments if I'm wrong, but if I, if I hear that, that in America it costs so much to go to the hair salon, is there none hair salon in America that costs less and it's also good? Because here you can do that. Of course, for me, in my salon, I work with uh, staff and the staff is uh, expensive in Belgium. Um, we have to pay a lot of taxes on our staff. Uh, so it's a lot of uh, expensive things. But still, I, I never, never, never had a client that has to pay 500 euros. No. She did a good job. I, I saw, I, maybe I should make a video and I search for the most expensive transformations or haircuts uh, in the world. If you have seen a video or an Instagram that says I paid like 500 or 600 or maybe a thousand dollars on a transformation, please let me know. Put it in the comment, put the link in the comment and I will look right into it. You can help me by making my next video uh, reacting on the most expensive uh, transformations. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is ciao kus!